measurement, volume and capacity. There are some vessels full of water. Observe them and tell which ones can hold more water and which ones less. Let us see. Well, the bucket will hold more water and the bowl less. Won't you agree with me? Yes, you do. This bucket became full when 40 glasses of water were poured into it. This bucket became full with 10 pitchers of water. The same amount of water measures different because different means are used to measure it. No matter who fills water in the bucket, it should measure the same. For that, we must use the standard measure. This is a measure of 1 liter. The milkman keeps this. It is used to measure out liquids such as milk and oil. We can easily get a 1 liter water bottle. The picture alongside shows a measure used especially for kerosene. The liter is a standard unit for measuring liquids. Take various vessels such as a pitcher, a box, a pan, etc. and make an estimate of how much water they can hold. 1 liter, less than 1 liter, more than 1 liter. Verify your guess by actually using a 1 liter bottle. These are some vessels. The pitcher can hold more than 1 liter. This box can hold less than 1 liter. This pan can hold 1 liter of water. Now we pour the water from this bottle and check how many liters of water these vessels can hold. The pitcher holds 5 liters of water. The box holds half liter of water. This pan holds 1 liter of water. Pour 3 liters of water into each of the above containers. The water will take a different shape in each container because each container is of a different shape. But the volume of water in each container is 3 liters. 5 1 liter bottles of water are poured into this bucket. The volume of the water in the bucket is 5 liters. Now children, let us find out how much more water can be added to fill this bucket completely. Well, the bucket can hold 12 liters of water. The bucket already has 5 liters of water. More water can be added to fill this bucket completely. That would be 12 liters minus 5 liters, which is equal to 7 liters. So 7 liters of more water can be added to fill this bucket completely. This bucket can hold 12 liters of water. You know what it means? It means that the capacity of this bucket is 12 liters. The amount of water that is needed to fill any container such as a pot, a bucket, a drum or a pan is called the capacity of the container. Take a bottle with a quarter liter capacity. Use this as a measure. Mark the following measures on a container. Kids, this will be fun! First, let us find out a bottle with the capacity of quarter liter. Let's fill water in it to the brim. Alright. Now, first and foremost, we need to take 2 liters of water 
in a container. Well, how many times you will pour quarter liter water in order to make two liters? Hmm. If you pour four times quarter liter of water, it makes one liter. So for two liters, you need to pour water eight times with your bottle having quarter liter capacity. Let's do it then. Alright, now here we have 2 liters of water in the container. Let us mark this measure on the container. Correct. Next is half a liter. How many times we will pour water from a quarter liter bottle to make half a liter? That is correct. 2 times. We will make half a liter of water. So let us take a container. And pour the water twice from a quarter liter bottle. Like this. Now let us mark it on the container and write half a liter. Our third measure is one and a half liter. Now this one is a little tricky. Let me help you out in this. As I told you earlier, for one liter, four quarter liters will make 1 liter and and 2 times quarter liter of water makes half a liter which means in order to get one and a half liter of water we will pour the water six times from a quarter liter bottle in the container superb now let us mark it now the last one the last measure is a quarter liter and it is the simplest because we already have a quarter liter capacity bottle. So we will fill the bottle one time and pour it in the container. Now mark the container. Note how many liters of water you use for the following purposes in your house. For bathing. Approximately 10 liters of water is used for bathing. For mopping the floors. At least 1 liter of water is used for mopping the floors. For cooking. Approximately 3 liters of water is used for cooking. For washing kitchen utensils. About 5 liters of water is used for washing kitchen utensils. For drinking. 20 liters of water is used for drinking by everybody in the house. For making 10 cups of tea. 1 and a half liters of water is used for making 10 cups of tea. For brushing teeth, one fourth liter of water is used, or a quarter liter water is used for brushing. Watering the garden, ten liters of water is used approximately for watering the garden. Washing vehicles, twenty liters of water is used for washing vehicles. Make a list of all those places where water is wasted. Make an estimate of how much water is wasted and suggest ways of reducing the wastage. Place approximate amount of wastage. Remedy Well, first and foremost, that is number one, is wash basin. And we waste approximately 2 liters of water every day. The remedy for that is very simple. Just turn off the tap while brushing your teeth. And turn it on only while rinsing your mouth and the brush. Number 2. In the garden. We waste around 10 liters of water in the garden. For gardening, we definitely need water. 
but instead of using fresh water we can always reuse the water which has already been used for utensil cleaning for kitchen purposes and for mopping and cleaning purposes next is in the washroom again there is a wastage of 10 liters of water and the solution to that or the remedy to that is a very simple one instead of using a shower you can fill your bucket with water and use it for bathing this will save a lot of water number four utensil washing we waste at least five liters of water for utensil washing a simple remedy for avoiding wastage would be while applying soap to the utensils turn off the tap and turn it on only during washing them i hope these small little remedies will help you save water and just imagine if we all try and save water it will be very beneficial for our environment and for our coming generations isn't it all right